I think it's really important that every young person who qualifies to come to ETH should be able to do so and should be able to learn here to the best of their abilities. Hi there. It's great that we can reach you. You teach at university, right? Then you probably have experience in creating learning materials, lecture notes, exercises, e-learning modules or exams. But have you ever asked yourself whether you reach all students? Have you ever thought about students with visual, auditory or motor impairments? Or learners who are neurodivergent? Every day, these people are confronted with learning materials that are either poorly or not at all adapted to their needs. For example, it might not be possible for a student to do an exercise because it doesn't consider their colour blindness or because they can't zoom in parts of the document or an online conference is inaccessible because the application can't be properly processed by text-to-speech tools for blind people. So actually, education is a perfect example of dealing with how different minds work, how different people think, and how to bring to the content to the learners in different ways, in different modalities. And that's one fundamental aspect of accessibility, is that people are different. They take information, they process information in different ways. Most barriers have nothing to do with the student's aptitude for academic achievement, but they lead to disproportionate additional effort or even to complete exclusion from education. Therefore, we need to make sure that our students who have a form of disability have the best possible opportunities to be able to fulfil their potential. And that will mean that we have to do things slightly differently. One of the challenges that we face in implementing accessibility is the fear. Very often not knowing where to start, how to start, and thinking that it will be too difficult, too costly, too time consuming. But very often it's a one-time cost. It's learning how to get the right tools, how to get the right setup. But after that initial curve, usually providing accessibility becomes the normal way of doing things. Good news. If you make your learning materials available digitally, you've already taken a first step towards inclusivity. Make all relevant learning materials, or at least a list of links, available in a central location on an accessible e-learning platform. Create well-structured content. Use format templates. Supplement pictorial content with detailed informative descriptions. Pay attention to contrasts when designing your learning material. Ultimately, well thought of learning materials benefit everyone, not just people with disabilities. But for them, it's essential. One of the things I've long held in our work is that disabilities really create challenges for people and one of the important objectives in life is to become a problem solver. So challenges in many ways become a, a, an impetus for being a creative problem solver. And so I think people with disabilities have a unique head start on really solving challenges. So I see higher ed as a really excellent place for students with disabilities to uh, accelerate their work on becoming problem solvers. The more that you exclude certain people, certain groups of people from your community, your environment, the more, uh, in a sense, you're punishing yourself because there are benefits that you are not going to, to have. And more broadly, on the talent and the skills and the knowledge that the whole of society could have. If your teaching is worth doing at all, if your research is worth doing at all, then it's worth making sure that people know about it and that people understand it.